Hey, welcome to Speed Skating Deconstructed. What makes a skater great? Piper Yudia, up and coming sprinter out of the Milwaukee area, Wisconsin, at the US Olympic Trials today. Skated her first Olympic trial performance, had a great race. And let's look at it. Okay, what we noticed so far, and this is uh, going to be private to you, Dr. Woods, is her first movement is nowhere. So when the gun goes off, She's not even moving. It's like a little twitch and then, you know, that. But look, Mia's already off the line. And Piper's still sitting there. So someone with great twitch and great, great speed, um, I would say, let's figure this out. That's not helping her. It's not a good position. This is a poised position to move forward. This is a position to stay there. So I'd work on that. And then there's this kind of the violent thrust of her upper body back and forth without her being under, her knees being under. So it's just really wide. We used to say it's like there's a barrel between her legs and, you know, you can kind of see that. So to correct that, you want to really get down on this, our carve and bring this as a function of the pressure on the skate, bring the knee through under your chin do that you clean that up you get a much straighter line down the ice and you're on that skate earlier as it is now it's going to take her a while to get out and and there's just very little she can do because it's just throwing back side to side without a lot of pressure because she can't ever get out over the skate because it's so wide so i would i would work on that she's heavily upper body dominant which says to me a strong personality so you know tone that down a little and skate better and I think she'd do a lot better. Look very composed and disciplined with Mia here. So I think Piper might just be a little too emotional on her skates and settle down and race. And again, you've spoken with her about how wide she is. There's no excuse to be this wide off the outer. She's not going near the speed she requires to to have to come down on the apex at uh, you know 80%. Let's check the exit. See how she's moving with the lead. Let's see. Again, this is good right here. Let's see what she does with it. This is also very good. So there's a lot of good there. That's, that's really excellent. I would suggest keeping the arm closer. It'll help her get over the skate better. And again, you see that kind of throwing her head over late. So what I would say is move everything as a unit over that skate earlier instead of just waiting and then throwing your head over. But the fundamentals are there. You can see how wide she is here. Lateral compression is kind of missing. So again, this knee needs to come under her chin. And when she does that, she'll come down better on this blade, be done with that one sooner, and have more pressure right away. As it is... It's too much on the outer. In the days we skated, outers were good. You want that to be underneath you. Look at Jordan. Look at Austin Kleba today. Look at many others. You want to keep this knee under you because then you can turn that blade over so much faster. And now it's going to take her a while to do so. And she's never quite over her pressure until it caves a little. So really good core nucleus of power here. So much potential. So just a great race for her today. So you're doing a great job with her, and so is Piper. And uh, there's there's a lot to improve, and it's great because she can get so much better. So that's, uh, that's it for today. Hope you um, get this and make some sense of it, and I'll talk to you soon.